Hey there, in this quick video we are going to be going over Bower and how you can use it to manage your front end dependencies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new folder inside of my projects directory. So I'm going to say uh, make directory and I will just call this Bower and then I will go into that directory and then I'm just going to go ahead and open this up in sublime text. So what I will do is I'll create a new file inside of this folder and just save this as index HTML. Simple enough and I'll create my index.html page with just a Bower test. And now let's say inside of this project I wanted to include uh, jQuery and font awesome. So simple enough I could include my link tag and uh, I could also include my script. And now I need to go to each one of these websites and download the jQuery library and go to Font Awesome. I will need to download that. I'll need to create a folder. Then I'll need to link to these different libraries. And uh, I may also want to check which version that I want to install. Um, it just seems like a lot of work to do. So instead, what we can use is we can use Bower to manage these dependencies. So we could say Bower install jQuery or Bower install Font Awesome, and it will automatically install this into a folder on our local machine. So let me go ahead and show you if we run npm install g bower on our machine then it will install bower globally so we can run this bower command on our computer and it will recognize it. So I already have installed that. I'm not going to show you that step but it's one command. Um, you install it via node. If you don't have node just go to nodejs.org and you can download that. It's very easy to install. So Let's get started. Let's say that I want to include jQuery in this project. I could do bower install jQuery. And I could do bower install font awesome. And now let's go back to Sublime Text. And you can see that we have this bower components folder inside of our bower project. So if I open up jQuery, I can see that we have jQuery distribution and jQuery.min.js. And this is exactly what we needed. So we could say bower components and I could say slash jQuery slash dist and jQuery.min.js and then I've just referenced this uh, jQuery min file and that's how easy it was to install jQuery in this project. I could then do the same thing with the font awesome library so I'll say font awesome and let's see where this file is at inside of CSS and font awesome.min.css So I can save that. And just like that, we've included jQuery and Font Awesome in our project without having to go to each of the websites and download it. And uh, sometimes it just ends up being a big headache. Um, one more thing that I do want to go over in this video is uh, let's say that you are working with a group and you don't want to have to include this Bower components everywhere in your source control. And it's typically not recommended that you ins that you have this inside of your source control. Usually what you have is a Bower.json file. And this Bower.json, it knows what dependencies that you want to have inside of your project. It declares which dependencies you want to have. So if I go back to my Bower folder and I do Bower init, it's going to create a new Bower.json file for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter through each of these. These are just standard definitions that you can have inside of your Bower.json, but you can just enter through each of those. So if we list out the directory and we go back to our sublime text, we now have this Bower.json file. And you can see that we have these two dependencies, font awesome and jQuery. And from now on, since you have this Bower.json, what you'll need to do is you'll need to say Bower install, and then you'll say save dash dev, and then you will say which package that you want to install. By default, it will not automatically include it in the Bower.json, but this is why we want to use the Bower.json so we can manage all of our dependencies. Let me go ahead and give you a quick example. Let me duplicate this Bower folder. So Bower, and I will just call this Bower New. I'm going to go ahead and go into this Bower New folder, and I'm going to remove the Bower components. from this folder. So if I open up this project right now, and this is typically what would be inside of your source control. So say that I was working on this project and I opened up index.html, it's not showing anything on the page because we don't have anything on there. But let's go ahead and open up our console. Right now it is saying, hey, we're missing font awesome and we're also missing the jQuery library in our projects. So it doesn't recognize that those files are there because 
I just removed the Bower Components folder. So then what I would need to do is I would just go into that directory and I would say Bower install. And then simple enough, it downloads the font awesome and the jQuery library because inside of our bower.json, it declares which libraries we want in our project. So if I go back to this page and click on refresh, you can see that we don't have those console errors because now we have the jQuery and the font awesome library in our project. So that was just a quick introduction to Bower. I hope that you'll go to Bower.io and check it out. And I hope that you will also use this amazing package manager in your next project.